Hello friends, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we are going to go into the end today. Yes, we are. Woohoo. Okay. So get out of this mode because I'm not gonna play like this. Oh, that's fascinating. I can see through the walls. Interesting. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go into the end. Um this is oh Jeez, my network speed, my pings here are really bad for some reason. Oh, that was scary. Okay, am I actually here? I think I am. Okay, so this should look familiar. We have uh, we have defeated the dragon, and now I want to build an Enderman farm, and so. I tore down one of these uh, one of these pillars here because I wanted to use obsidian for some of it, and so I needed a bunch of obsidian, and that seemed like a good source. So I've got I've got a bunch of obsidian here. I've got a bunch of ladders already. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got some chests here. This is dangerous, especially when my uh, network speeds are so pitiful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch some stuff here because I don't want to lose it all if I fall off the end of the world. So here we go. Um, oh, I got a torch there. Oh, I see their beady little eyes. Oh, let's take off the armor too. I don't need to lose all that. So okay. Now, you probably know the basics of what we're about to do. Um, and I just want to be prepared. So, I'm going to go build a path out that way, a long ways. And then we're going to build a platform. And then we're going to build some spawning platforms above it and a bunch of fall area and hoppers and all that good stuff. Not going to do all that today, um, but one thing is, where are we at here? We are at Y49. Okay, we're lower than I thought. Here's the thing. Apparently, you want to keep all of this below Y128, the old build limit. And the reason you want to do that, I don't entirely get, uh, has something to do with uh, efficiency that comes out of uh, not forcing the game to go check uh, check stuff up in uh, you know above Y128 so you want to build down and you want to make your path down there as low as you can like if you can I guess you want to do it at like Y1 Y zero, so that's fine. Um, the trick, of course, is always how do you do that? I actually have some island down there below me, don't I? So the question is how how we go about doing that. And I've done some research and found, um, you know, different opinions on the best way to do it. Most of them involve pouring water over the side of the platform here and then swimming down the water and building with bricks while you're swimming down. That seems insane to me. Um, so we're going to do this. I'm going to put some lava here. And the lava will pour down. And it will pour slowly. Fortunately, we're only like 40 blocks up. So we don't need to let it go too far. And I've seen other people's video of this, and it just goes down to the bottom. It doesn't pool, because it just flows into the void, which is kind of cool. And then I'm going to take some water, and I'm going to place it over here. And what this is going to do is make a cobblestone pillar all the way down to the bottom. So we need to sit here and wait for it to happen. And... Is that it? Oh, I can see the bottom from here. Fascinating. Okay, so we can pick up the lava now. 
and I am going to very quickly get this off my hot bar because I don't want to accidentally burn myself to death in the end. We need to keep the water here for a while. You can see the lava drops and keeps and persists for a while. I think we're already there. This is cool. Now I could take ladders and place a few down and then climb down a little bit and place a few more below me and all that good stuff. Um, but that's a little bit scary because what it means is you are effectively, you have to let go of the shift key as you go down. Um, I don't want to have to do that. So what I've done is I've gotten myself a low efficiency pick here. <laughs> And I'm going to do something that seems a little scary, but it's really not too bad. So I'm going to creep out here. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to creep out over here. I'm going to place a block down as far as I can. Happens to be there. I'm going to very carefully jump onto it. And I'm going to go out over the side here and place another one as far down as I can. It's going to be two or three blocks below. Boop. And then I'm going to dig through this and drop down and I'm just going to do that till I get down to the bottom and it's going to be two or three down at a time which is just fine I can put torches along the way if that helps um, you can also spiral your way down you can build a little spiral staircase and the reason I didn't want to use my efficiency 5 pick to do this is I didn't want to accidentally cut through both blocks seems like a bad idea so we are gonna go just keep doing this it's a little tedious but it's safe and that was kind of the key thing boop and then you also probably see that I've got a bunch of obsidian in my pocket I ah, stupid enderman Interesting. So this stuff actually goes down. The island here goes down a ways. I might have been able to uh, take advantage of that. Okay. Keep going. Another one. And where are we at at the moment? We are at Y29. So I've got, got a little ways to go yet. All right, so I'm gonna get down to the bottom and then I will cut back so you don't need to watch this tediousness. Hang on a sec, I will be back. Hello, okay, we are down at the bottom. So, for this last one, I wanna put down obsidian, which is gonna be a little hard to see on the video. I apologize for that. But, there's a good reason for it. Uh oh I should have brought a diamond pick just in case I made mistakes okay so here we are at the bottom of the world okay so the island does not come down this far this is a little nerve-wracking let's see where we are we are at block one looking at block zero so this is the bottom of the world Wow, so I want to put down some torches here, but I'm going to put in a little safety railing just because I don't want to accidentally walk off the edge. Yeah, all right, and I'll replace this later. I did not bring a uh, diamond pick with me. So now what I need to do is build out this way until I get past this stuff. And then I need to build out that way some more. So I brought along some speed potion because I think that's going to be my best friend. So let's take this. Let's get this off. Let's drink this. I've never had it. Never done a speed potion before. Whoa. Feel the view change. Okay. So now shifting. That's a little faster than uh, than normal, huh? 
Nice. See, we need to go a little bit further. A little further, I think this is going to be the point that I need to build out to before I start counting. So we need to get 128 blocks away from the nearest point on the island where Endermen can spawn. Because we're going to go out a ways. May as well do it uh, a little farther just to be safe. So I'm going to go a couple hundred blocks maybe. Okay. So I think pretty close there. So standing on this block. Yeah, I think I'm past that. Need to light this up so we don't get Enderman spawning on it, especially while I'm out working. And I wanted to do obsidian because I need to build up on top of this. Once we get out there, I want to put in some some redstone. Um, I'll need to dig down beneath my platform. And I didn't want to accidentally dig into nothing. So that's why we put one there. Go to safety. Nice. Uh, so I didn't really bring enough redstone. Uh, obsidian. Okay, that's fine. You know what? The next thing we need to do is we need to we need to build a uh, we need to ladder back up. Hey. Uh oh. Is this going to be a problem? My my pings are really bad. And I will encase this um, temporarily. I will put other blocks around it to uh, help make sure that we don't fall off. Make a little elevator shaft, if as it were. Because the last thing I need to do is just do a boneheaded fall off a ladder. All right, so if we go up here. I have obsidian for days. Okay, so two blocks will get me 128 and then some additional blocks will get me past that for my safety. Whew. Wow, that's nerve wracking, <laughs> especially since you can't see the path here. Okay. And I will widen this path. I just want to get out to where I know I need to be first. Shifting. I do not want to just walk at regular speed along here. So I'm a I'm a chicken in game like this. So anyway, so I'm going to uh, build a platform, a little path out to the point where the the farm is going to be. It'll be a point at which. Enderman cannot spawn uh, anywhere else but in the trap. That's kind of the goal. And we will, I'll do that. This is going to be an ongoing process. I'll come back and show you sort of progress as it goes along. And yeah, so I'm going to lay down um, two whole stacks of obsidian out. And then probably another half stack just to be safe. So this is going to take a little while. Uh, when I get out there, I will show you what I've got. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Ah, stupid freaking Enderman. Out of my way, dude. Oh. 
Wow, look at that. So we, I, it, this is probably really hard for you to see, but most of the island isn't even being rendered anymore. I'm 128 blocks past the point where I thought I was past this. I'm going to go a little more and see if I can get all of that out of render distance, which will be like 160 blocks. So maybe another 40. Well, it's almost there. If it's not even in render distance, it's definitely not, uh, no one's going to spawn over there. Whew, almost there. And eventually I'll build, oh, just a little bit more. Eventually I'll build a railway that goes out here. Okay, let's light this up. I don't need any Enderman spawning on here. The first segment I went a full 64 blocks. And when I went back to go light it up, there were a bunch of Endermen already on. Which is uh, not ideal. Why does the void make noises? Okay, back out. So I'll use up all the obsidian that I have here just building this out. I won't start on the platform unless I have plenty of obsidian left, but I have a feeling I won't. Because I think getting this stuff out of render distance is, uh, is, is useful. Oh, so close. There we go. We are out of render distance. Let me light up. And with this lit properly, no Enderman will spawn out here at all. That's very cool. And I have 18 left, so let me start on a platform and then go back and uh, let my shift finger relax because right now it's starting to cramp. Build a little platform out here. Pop, pop, helicopter. Eight left. Okay, so we want to light this up. Pop, 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 pop. I will go all out and light the bejesus out of this because I do not want any surprises. Okay, all right, well, let's go back. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I will uh, call this an episode for now. And ooh, there's the island starting to come into render distance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you next time. I think we'll... we'll there's some been ch some changes on the server. Uh, since the last thing I s you, sh you saw, it's so the last episode I did, I think we killed the Ender Dragon, which allowed this to be started. Um, then we have... Oh, uh, before that, I think it was the String Farm. So there's there's been some nice changes. Uh, so I will I will share those with you. We have more people playing on the server, and uh, they're building things. We have new farms, situation in the nether is improved. Um, I'll show you that, and uh, I think that'll do it. Um, so we have plenty to show you, and we will do that in the next episode. Thank you very much, and I will see you later. Bye. Oh, one last thing. 
Um, I don't think I explained myself the way I intended to. The reason I wanted to put obsidian down here is because I'm going to put a couple layers of brick of some sort on top. And then I'll have to be able to dig down into that brick to put in some redstone. And I wanted something that would take a long time to dig through so that I didn't accidentally dig down into the void. So I figured obsidian would be a good choice for that. So, um, so anyway, that's, that's why I dug up one of the, uh, one of the towers, one of the crystal towers, harvested all the obsidian because I knew I was going to need several stacks of it just to make the walkway. And if I, if I do the walkway three or five wide all the way out and, and then oh, you can barely see that, but you can see it. It's very cool. Or you can see most of it. Um, and then I put brick on top of that and then I can start to build a ramp from up here so that it goes, you know, basically ramps down. So I can put a minecart on it. So that'll be the uh, the basic plan. That's how we'll get in and out of the thing. And uh, the obsidian is just a safety factor. So anyway, I want to uh, make sure I explain that correctly. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.